Chad, what are we doing? Run. Huh. No idea how this sounds, and I have no idea how the acoustics are in this room, but this is different. I'll just set this down on the side. Okay, I don't even know how to sit. Hmm, how to explain this? It has been, let's see, I don't like this frame setup. Ah, excuse me. All right, well, welcome to the studio. I mean, this is kind of the start of it. I don't have exactly all the equipment that I really want. Um, just using the standard little uh, mic that I have actually on top of the camera. Missing a lot of equipment to actually make this go down, but this is gonna be the new studio. And this is gonna be kind of like the non-camera stuff. We don't know if we're gonna have a podcast. Dylan and I were thinking about doing it and actually starting one up. He wants to get in front of the camera a little bit more instead of just helping me with the film production behind the scenes. You might be asking why all the boxes. It's been about six months of just me I, I've, I've gotten stuff, I've purchased a lot of things, I've had a lot of sponsors send me a lot of things, and could, to, I don't know exactly how to explain it. Like, like this is from 8080, Sound Great USA. I don't know what that is. I really don't. The Polish School? Point is, I have a lot of stuff that I need to unbox, and so today will just be a basic unboxing day for me. So consider this uh, Christmas in February. Another reason why I'm making this video is because today when I make this video, it is actually well ahead of the next videos that are coming out. All the last footage and vlogs and stuff like that have been in the past, like in December or in like October of last year, 2018, and caught up significantly. We've had about, I think, 23 vlogs up to this up to this one. You and me, love to see your smiling faces. Right now, we're up to date. I just kinda wanted to give some backstory behind it. So I've been filming for a long time, but not having a computer to actually do my edits and, and kinda create stuff, and then of course I was moving. Now that we're actually gonna be having a studio and everything like that, which you can see, we're working on it. I know as far as filming goes and everything like that, it is not up to date. All right, we don't have our mics in yet. We don't have our mic stands. We don't have our seat lights. I don't even have proper lighting. I'm using the two bulbs that go into the top of the room, which I think, I'm over with this one first. You, you can't even see it. There's so many boxes. There's one right here, and I think this actually might be our studio lighting. So basically, I just want to get you guys a heads up. The future videos after this are still going to be catching us up until I make another video, which is saying, hey, we're officially caught up. And when I say caught up, it's, it's compared to my Instagram. Because most of the people that come over to this channel, if you haven't, thank you for subscribing and thank you for watching. Because it's, you know, most of the time it's just fed through my Instagram. And that page is has like 11,000 followers. So, I mean, you can kind of guess exactly where my following probably comes from. It'll be a couple more vlogs and then we'll be up to date where the Instagram and the YouTube will be colliding with each other which makes it a little bit more easier to watch that way you're not all confused because I've had some comments, had some people even reach out to me saying like is this in the past, your Instagram's throwing me off, it's kind of spoiling it for me. I know, I get it, it sucks. But look at the bright side, there's a few things here that I haven't done yet to the car. I'm just gonna unbox a bunch of stuff since you're kind of caught up in exactly where we're at. If you guys are actually interested in studio stuff and in podcasts and everything like that, for however many people watch this video, go ahead and leave a comment below. I'd really appreciate you know giving us some sort of insight of what you guys actually want to hear and want to see. Uh, we don't really know what to go off of. We just think it'd be really fun. But of course, topics and people, it all kind of depends. We have multiple cameras going on in this situation. So let's just start opening stuff. Sound good? All right, I gotta get a knife. This is to set the mood. Pineapple. Okay. Hey. 
Yeah, this is definitely, this has got to be our lights. If this is our lights, we're going to use them. Like this. I got titties, like, no, it's not working. Oh, that's going to be bright. Things the size of my head. We've got two of them. That's pretty, pretty dope, actually. I'm going to set that up. So we'll get these up in, like, like right now. I just want to see how much of a difference it is. Three, two, one, boom. I would say significantly better. <laughs> this is much more appropriate lighting. Although I feel like I also need to make that a little bit different as far as the color goes. Pretty good when it comes to the uh, the lighting and everything like that. I don't know if I have any other studio gear that I'm going to be unboxing, but let me just give you a little bit of a rundown of the studio center right at the very end of this so you guys can kind of see what this is going to be looking like and what it's going to be set up for. Then what we can grow on because there's going to be a lot more to come, especially with this audio because this audio is not, not going to work with me. I, I can already tell right now that it's not going to be good enough. For my expectations, I'll probably have to fidget some stuff in post. Rubber bands right there, keep our pineapple. Right there, good pineapple. I think we're gonna have a pineapple whenever we have a, <clears throat> whenever I'm in the studio, Let's have a pineapple. This one is from 8080. I think this is like a, like a lanyard. Oh yeah, it's part of their like promotion thing. Got a pop, I got a pop thing. All right, those go on the back of your phone here and then you can like, I don't know. Rally Sport Direct. Most likely going to be a car part for the engine build that's coming up. So this was recommended by my buddy Jay. You guys know my Derby Arch channel. This is the Grim Speed Electronic Boost Controller Solenoid. He said this is like the best one you get. This one are Cobb. Packaged by Charlie. Thank you, Charlie. You did a wonderful job. So this will you'd be connected into my new system and replace the basic stock boost controller which apparently would make my boost a lot better this should help with that fluctuation so that's awesome comes with all the tubing and stuff and some zip ties <laughs> ooh, ooh. and a sticker Ugh. it's from rally direct rally direct came in handy better prices than subi speed so subi speed if you ever watch these videos lower your prices i don't really have this issue because i have a high flow cat from ets this should be the turbo sump restrictor. This piece is going to be, it's just a little tiny little thing. I don't know if you guys can even see it. All it is is you hook it up to the vacuum line of the turbos and it basically keeps it so that it increased pressure to the, to the turbo so that the oil doesn't stick in there and burn and prevents all the blue smoke. And we'll be pushing some good numbers here soon. So it's kind of a good thing to have. The other thing that's in here, This will be the Torque Solutions. Ah, <laughs> Torque Solutions. Pulley cover. It covers the front of the engines and all the pulleys and everything like that. And just the nastiness before you get to the intake manifold. So it gives a little bit better, a little bit of a better look. Do another 8080 box. I believe this is a hat of some sort. Oh nice. I can dig it. Ooh, what the hell? Oh. Ow. It's a snapback so I can fix it, but alright. So again, another thing that Jay did was uh, he got one of the mystery boxes when they were doing their thing with Adam's polish. So this is ow, orange edgeless microfiber towel. That's pretty nice. Um, ooh, some nice car shampoo. You can never run out of this stuff. This stuff is great to have on you. And then what else we got? Some brilliant glaze. Okay, some smudgeless, not wax wax. And then some detail spray. You can't go wrong with detail spray. All right. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, this is actually not for me. This is uh, actually my Christmas present to my dad. It's a, uh, it's a Clifford remote starter system. So I'll get this to you before this video gets uploaded, Dad, but Merry Christmas. It wasn't cheap, sir. Bunch of pop clips, some atomic fireballs. Hot. This is the IBR 
iBuildRaceCars.com TGB Deletes. Now these are the big boy ones. These are not like the Mishimoto, even though it's sponsored by them, or the Torque Solutions, or the, this is hot, but AIG. These are the big boy ones. These ones remove not only the top piece with the flange, but also the bottom piece, which is a restricted honeycomb kind of looking area. This is very, very big. Woo! These are pretty. Oh, man. These are big, girthy babies. I can't wait to get these things on. Ow, uh, uh, Ow. Speaking of sponsors in Mishimoto, they sent me actually a couple things. I'm still waiting on one more thing, which is the reason why we haven't done any like build progress yet. These are going to be my sponsor at ship tags. We've got four layers of white Mishimoto banners. <laughs> I get them gains, boys. Some, uh, some stuff to get rid of my, my dad bot I got going on here. This thing's gross. Energized weight loss support. Give me all skinny, nice and in shape so I can, I don't know. It's kind of cool to have like a studio and stuff. This, I love this. This is great. I'm, I'm enjoying this a lot. I don't know if you guys are, but I'm enjoying this. Oh shit. This is my battery charger. A Japanese as shit. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is my trickle trickle charger that I ordered. I have to read the instructions, but this will supposed to be a really highly rated battery charger that I can use to keep my battery charged for the Super because it always wants to die. I think I posted about this one on Instagram. It already says what it is. <laughs> Baffled oil cash cat. It's like a six hundred dollar thing, and thank God for sponsors, man. Nishimoto, love you guys. Oh, shit, okay, I thought I got, wow. Maybe it's because everybody wants blue. Ah! Here's this blue, and then it comes with all the fittings. Got a catch can. So thank you, Mishimoto, that's awesome. Hmm. I don't know how to get it open now. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, so this is that, uh, another product that Jay recommended and we're really doing comparison with, and honestly I think that the Adams version of this is actually better, but I decided to try it out anyways, and what I wanted to review since his was on, his is actually on like paint, mine's gonna be wrap, I'm gonna see if it works with wrap as well, or if it just absorbs it and nothing really happens. So this is gonna be more of a, a future video, something to test on to see if it works on wrap, what we can do with it and if we can actually use it or not. Oh shit. Oh, this is from Trademark, okay. Another hat, man, how am I supposed to? So, guys who don't know Trademark, they're, they're um, Trademark's down in Miami. They hooked it up with me, they helped me out. They were able to get me all the stuff that I, I really was waiting to get that I couldn't exactly afford at the time. So this fool, he helped me out a lot. Really thankful for that. I guess better, Dad. Let's try this on. I don't know how I look. It's good, better. Should I hold it off to the side? Should I have it up a little bit? Should I have it up? There we go. Is that better? I don't know how it looks, honestly. I didn't flip the screen out. Treadmarks, thank you guys. You guys seriously made a lot of stuff happen. So the stuff that's actually coming in, in the future. In fact, some of this stuff actually was like electronic boost solenoid, the Torque Solutions cover, or the sump restrictor. So I appreciate, I appreciate that a lot. Just haven't opened them. Oh. So what, what I'm shooting on right now is actually a Panasonic Lumix GH4. Um, it's one of the older models. It's pretty outdated, to be honest with you. Um, it's a good camera and everything, but the problem is it's a Micro Four Thirds. I'm getting kind of tired of Micro Four Thirds. Another reason why I didn't get the Black Magic. I want to upgrade sensors, uh, get a little bit better shallow depth of field, better dynamic range, and company that I think has the best color science of all, and that would be Canon. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but that is a Canon adapter. Not adapting my stuff to my Canon lenses to this camera. I am actually gonna be getting a different camera. I'll still be using this one probably for studio just because it doesn't have in-body stabilization. It doesn't have very much of the qualities that I'm looking for. And the camera over to the right over here is going to be used also on the side for, for our studio setups and everything like that. So this will be a replacement camera and I'm gonna be getting a Canon. This was my way of getting this adapter so that I would be able to use all of the Canon lenses on that camera. If that doesn't give it away if you're a camera 
person, then I don't know what will. This is what is my first investment in the camera I'm going to get. It's gonna replace all the other cameras that I have for vlogging. It also offers a lot of different options as far as video quality. When it gets to com comes to camera gear, we'll be getting into that stuff too because I mean most of my channel has been about cars. So there's a, I have another I have another interest. I have another thing I like to do. Amazon fulfillment. 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 Filled. Are you feeling fulfilled? Thread sealant. I already installed my bags. So, um, with that said, this is this is it. This is everything that I had to unbox. Obviously, I had a lot to do. If you guys have stayed this long, thank you so much to just get give you guys on on the outro, give you a little bit of a rundown of this entire place of the, the studio setup before we actually start unboxing, and we'll we'll make this nice and fun. I got a lot of boxes I got to throw away now. Anything else I want to touch bases on? I'm trying to think. Oh yes, so. Knowing that this channel is mostly about cars and seeing them have a studio set up in here and everything like that, uh, we are looking to possibly do some podcasts. We are possibly looking to do some photo shoots and some interviews. Um, and then this would be exactly where we would end up doing it. With that in mind, I also want to let you guys know, like I'm also a huge fan and advocate and very, very into photography and videography. So as far as camera gear and camera equipment, I look forward to doing some reviews and stuff on that. Granted, I know I'm gonna have to pay out of pocket for those things and camera equipment is very expensive. We'll be looking into starting actually the new project since uh, this is a little bit ahead of where you guys are as far as seeing how the Subaru is being built. Once we get all these engine components in. I'll be looking to be starting the new build and be looking for the next project to actually go off of. But in the meantime, we're gonna have a lot of camera gear to actually go over and look at and uh, start doing some cinematic stuff that might not even be car related, but most likely will because this is a car channel and I'm a car guy. So if you're into cameras, you wanna learn anything about camera gear and how to use it. I've learned a lot over the past couple of years, but hopefully I would rather show that for you guys before I actually start talking about it. That way you can validate that my work is actually what I say it is and that I know how to use it and then we can kind of go from there it's good to see all you guys and hopefully you guys will understand I'm trying to get caught up on the vlogs and stuff so if you're seeing this today this is actually like the last the latest video I have made and we are gonna move in to doing the rest of the car and stuff like that but the next couple videos after this maybe one two three four five I'm not exactly sure depending on where I'm gonna throw this in here but this is after everything has been done and the car is completely finished so um, well, minus the this. Okay, we're, we're, I'm still waiting on lips for the wheels for the fitment, and I'm still waiting on another piece. Big piece, you'll know what it is. I'll post it on Instagram when it's ready, and we get the YouTube videos up, but it's coming in. There's a lot of... Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for dropping by, and uh, stay humble. I love you. I don't know. I can't... <laughs> I can't reach the camera. We'll just... I'll just leave. Okay. Okay. okay.